Our first student is Annie Lackey from Newport. Um, she's the daughter of Jeff and Lisa. Um, she's part of Honor Society, um, was uh, part of the cheer team that got second in state and has um, a really cool opportunity from the summer where she was able to be an intern at OHSU. Um, so please welcome Annie. Good afternoon, members of the Newport Rotary Club. I'm incredibly honored to be selected as Rotary Student of the Month. First and most importantly, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank those around me. Without my network of support from important people in my life, I wouldn't be who I am today. First off, my two wonderful parents, Steph and Lisa Lackey, poured endless hours into homeschooling and raising me. The things they taught me were invaluable and I'm forever thankful for them. When I entered public school in the seventh grade, it was the scariest day of my life. I was thrown into an entirely new situation so I was thrown into an entirely new situation I had never experienced before. But instead of drowning in my fears or self-doubt, I persisted. I give most of my credit to the incredible teachers that I've had. Every single teacher I came across genuinely seemed to care about their students. And if it wasn't for Mr. Hannah's way of making me actually enjoy math or Miss Newby's shoulder to cry on, my years would have been a lot rougher. To all the teachers who have helped me over the years, I'm thankful beyond words. Aside from school and teachers, I have been blessed with a plethora of mentors who have helped me grow into the person sitting or standing before you. Um, whether it was music or science or planning for the future, someone was always there to help along the way. Music has always been such a big part of who I am. Whatever opportunity to learn music arose, I took. I started guitar lessons soon after I moved to Oregon in 2009 and piano lessons two years later. I joined the middle school band and learned how to play the flute and continued that through um, some of high school. And I took cello lessons for six months in the eighth grade. There was something so satisfying and cathartic to me about being able to pour my frustrations or my triumphs into songs that I could share with other people. And I haven't lost that feeling for 12 wonderful years. Music teachers pushed me to improve and reach goals musically. And I want to thank Mrs. Buckley, Mr. Holly, Mr. Scoville, and Mrs. Stewart for sharing their love of music and helping me develop mine. No matter how much I love music, there was always part of, my, uh, part of my brain music couldn't just satiate. Something deep inside me has always craved some sort of organization and patterns. And recently I was fortunate enough to find a unique outlet for it. Junior year, my incredible aspiring mentor, Ron Brocklehorst, sent me a link detailing a program out of OHSU that teaches biomedical research to high school students. I was lucky enough to be accepted into such an incredible program and even luckier to be paired with an incredible mentor, Dr. Nelson. After working with him to create a research proposal for the class, I asked him about availability to work in his lab over the summer, but due to COVID, it seemed impossible. However, after casually mentioned that I had learned the computer programming language R for an IB biology paper, Dr. Nelson formally asked me to join his lab group as a virtual summer research intern. What started as a casual spot in a program blossomed into a virtual internship where I worked to analyze single cell data using the computer programming language R to help the Gurley lab within OHSU's Department of Nephrology to understand the impacts of acute kidney injury to specific cell types within the kidney. With much help from Dr. Nelson, um, oh, sorry. With much help from Dr. Nelson, I went from having a basic understanding of R to creating figures for a research paper and writing and teaching code at a club for researchers, um, specifically nephrologists, learning how to um, code to help aid their research. Through the door opened by Mr. Brocklehurst and the guidance provided by Dr. Nelson, I now have a plan for the future. I want to attend a four-year university and double major in biology and computer science, then complete an MD PhD program to become a physician researcher. Without all of the support from numerous sources over the years, I wouldn't have been able to spend my high school years playing music I loved and conducting valuable research and strengthening my skills for a career in academic medicine. The people who support me are why I'm here today and to everyone I've mentioned, as well as everyone else who has helped me along the way, thank you. And thank you all for listening. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next student is James Lackey, also the son of Jeff and Lisa Lackey of Newport. Um, he has been very involved in cross country and track over the last four years um, and hopes to pursue that in college. 
Um, he's also been part of our music program and is a 4.0 student. Please welcome James. Thank you, Raina. Uh, hi, uh, my name is James Lackey and uh, I had the honor of being the Rotary Student of the Month uh, this September. And uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about um, who I am and uh, got to where I am. Um, I was born in Kentucky and I uh, moved here out to Newport when I was five. Uh, from then on, I was homeschooled by uh, my mom, uh, who's an English teacher, and my dad, who's an engineer. Um, they've always been my biggest supporters uh, through the ups and downs. They've uh, helped me stay on top of my academics. Um, they've always uh, encouraged me uh, to do my best and support, supported me unconditionally. Um, they've made sacrifices. They've been uh, two just amazing role models in my life, and I uh, really owe everything to them. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Um, I've been uh, involved in sports since a young age, and I've always been uh, really competitive. Um, this started with soccer, then it started with basketball, and then seventh grade, um, I fell in love with running. Um, and uh, running has become such a big part of my life, uh, my identity. Um, whenever I need to, I can just go, go for a run, get away for a while, get my mind off things when life's difficult. Um, I, tru I truly owe a lot to my journey. Uh, as a runner, because, you know, when you're passionate about something and you put yourself into it, you work your butt off, you can take those lessons um, you learn from that area in life and you can apply it to other areas. And for me, I was able to take my drive, my work ethic, and I, de I developed from running and apply it to things like uh, education uh, or music, um, you know, and wanting to become the best runner I could be, I, I learned uh, I could improve other areas of my life. Uh, I can strive to do better in academics. I can strive to be a better friend or a better person. Um, and I'd also like to thank uh, my sister, Annie, because uh, she's helped me so much in academics, um, whether it's like proofreading an English paper or helping me understand like a science concept I just can't grasp. Um, she's, she's been my best friend since uh, day one, literally. Uh, <laughs> and last but not least, I'd like to thank God because he gave me you know, everything. He surrounded me with such wonderful people. and. Uh, Thank you, Rodri. It's been an honor. Congratulations, James.